Hi everyone, Aaron here for Zolotech, and this is the Apple card. I've been using it for about a week or so, and many of you have asked me questions based off my posts on Twitter and Instagram and YouTube. So I thought I'd try and answer all of those questions for you as best as I can. Now, keep in mind, I'm not a financial advisor or anything like that, but after using it, I wanted to share my experience and show you exactly how it works and how to get it. So the first thing is it's only available currently anyway, in the United States. So in the United States, you can get it. You cannot get it anywhere else in the world yet, hopefully soon in Europe and Canada, and then throughout the world later on. Apple has partnered with Goldman Sachs. You can see it on the back of the card here. They've partnered with Goldman Sachs to fund any of the transactions and work probably as the, the credit checker and things like that. Now you have to be 18 years old or older, and also you have to have a physical address. A PO box will not work. Now, as far as the interest rate is concerned, Based on your credit score, of course, the interest rate can vary. I've seen as low as about 12% all the way up to 20 something percent. My interest rate's about 18 and I have very good credit. So I think this is probably my highest interest rate credit card. So in that sense, it's, it's not really that good. It does have some rewards and things and it's very privacy focused. And I'll talk more about that in just a moment, but a couple of the other things people have asked is, can you have multiple users? Well, currently you can't, you can have just yourself. You can't share it with a spouse or a significant other or kids or anything like that. It's only for you. Now you can hand the physical card to someone and say, go buy something. But other than that, you can't do it. Now, as far as being privacy focused, Apple says they don't share any information about your purchases with anyone else. They won't be sending you any information or advertising and things like that. So hopefully that's true. I would imagine that it is, but currently I haven't seen any of that whatsoever. Now it can be used anywhere. Apple pay can be used and anywhere MasterCard can be used. So it's just a MasterCard credit card. So if the actual retailer doesn't accept Apple pay with your phone, you can use just the physical card. Now to first apply for it, let me show you how this works to apply for Apple card. All you need to do is either go to the website, apple.com hit apply. Now, when you go to the Apple card page or just go into the wallet app and apply, the decision comes back pretty quickly. And even if you don't get accepted, you can send that off to see if you can get accepted by a, a physical human review. And I've seen people get anywhere from about $250 with people just starting out with no credit. And like I said, much higher than that. Now, as you can see, the card itself in the wallet has a bunch of different colors. It actually starts out as white. And as you purchase things, the colors change to match categories of what you've purchased. So you'll see I've purchased $302 and 87 cents worth of things this past week or so. And you can see all of my transactions down at the bottom. Now, the nice thing is if you've never used Apple pay, when you use Apple pay, it gives the retailer a random number. So if that retailer has an issue with a data breach, they actually won't be able to figure out who had that card and your information is still safe. So that's one great thing about it. You also don't have to get the physical card, but if you do, you'll get it about three days later. And then to set it up, let me show you how that looks when you unbox it and then set it up for the first time. So the package arrived in this little brown envelope and inside we've got the little package for the apple card and it's the apple card we expected inside. It's just a white apple card with an apple in the upper left and a chip in the bottom right and my name, no number printed on it at all. Let's set it up with the phone. We'll bring our phone near and you'll see it shows up just like the AirPods do and we'll hit activate. And that was all there was to it. We'll go ahead and hit continue here. Let's take a little bit closer look at the card and you'll see it's white and it's titanium. So, it's a metal card and you don't hear that sound from many cards that you drop. So it's kind of interesting. And it just says MasterCard and Goldman Sachs on the back. So the Apple card itself just has your name on it and nothing else. There's no identifier other than your name and it keeps all of your information safe. Now let's take a really close look at the app and let me show you how this works. So the app has a card at the top and this card changes color based on the categories that you've purchased goods from. And I'll show you that in a moment. Then it shows you your balance based on what you have available. You can pay it early. And then if you have a question, it's telling me that I have support options. I can just close that. And then also you'll see all of your transactions below. Now, each one of these transactions is going to give you a reward amount. It's only one to 3%. It's 1% if you use the physical card 
then it's 2% if you use Apple Pay, and then at select vendors, such as Apple and Uber currently, those are the only two, you can actually get 3% back. So $3 on every $100 spent. It's not a huge return, and that is the best you'll get currently. So maybe that will increase in the future, but if you have a card that gives you 5% back, or maybe a ton of airline miles, that's probably a better deal. Now, what makes Apple Card nice, though, is this app itself. So the app is showing me my purchase. If I go to, say, McDonald's, you'll see there's actually the location of where I made the purchase. It tells me more information about that. Then if I go into the transaction, you'll see down here it says report an issue, so I can report an issue. And then you have a lot more information in here than you see with other cards. So monthly activity, it actually breaks it down into categories. So not only do I get my daily cash, I have my categories. So I have services, foods and drinks, entertainment, and health. And you'll see all of those are broken down. Then I can show the merchant themselves. Now for every purchase that you make, like I said, you get a percentage and you get that the same day. So that will dump into your daily cash every day. And that daily cash actually accumulates on your Apple cash card. So you have to have that as well. And you can use that Apple cash card at any Apple pay retailer that accepts Apple pay, or you can send that money to a friend or dump it into a bank account if you want to. Now, if we go into, we go back here, all of our card information is in these three dots in the upper right. So up here, you'll see that we can message someone if we need help. And that's something I would actually suggest you do as far as arbitration is concerned. If you don't opt out of arbitration, which basically gives you no legal right if you have issues uh, other than being within a group, arbitration is something I would opt out of right away. You can text them and say, I'd like to opt out of arbitration. It's just a simple message, and I did it here already. As you can see, it says, how can I help you? And I said, I'd be happy to assist you with that. So up here, you'll see, I would like to opt out of arbitration clause on the new Apple card, please. They did it right away and you're good to go. That gives you all of your rights back as far as a card holder. Uh, if you have a legal issue now, other than that, you'll see in the upper right here again, if I go back, you can call them. If you need help, you've got a website, you can schedule your payments, make a payment. You've got your card information. If you tap on this, this will actually give you your card information if you want to use it on a website. So if you want to use it on any site that accepts MasterCard but doesn't accept Apple Pay, all you do is put in your card information. It's just a normal number and a normal expiration date and your code there as well. Now also down here, you'll see credit limit, available credit, APR, and then what you want to do down here is link a bank account and that's how you pay off the card. So you need to actually link an account to pay the card and it's just any bank account. It doesn't matter if they accept Apple pay or anything like that. You just put in your checking or savings account and then you can pay it. You can put multiple bank accounts there as well. And if you scroll down, you've just got your home address. And that's really it as far as the way that works. Now, if we want to pay it early, we tap on pay early. And this is where it's pretty interesting. It tells you based on how much you pay now, what your interest will be. If I pay it now, there's no interest. If I pay here, you'll see it says no interest charges because I'm paying it early. But if I was to pay it late, it would show me interest charges. So it's really nice. We'll just go here. We'll pay the full amount right now and it wants to use Apple Pay. Now my balance is fully paid and you'll see the card itself is white. That shows me that all of the categories are gone, everything's paid and I'm good to go. So it's really nice, very simple and straightforward. And there's the actual payment at the top. It's really simple to use and I really like the way they've made this app. Now, a couple different things people have asked, can you take cash out with it? You can't take cash out with it. And it also doesn't have a pin if you travel internationally or have pin card codes for your card. It doesn't have one of those. Now, maybe it will when it's available in other countries, but currently it doesn't have any of that. Now, the Apple card is great, but there's better deals out there as far as cash back and things like that. This is a great card for the first time credit card user. And also, I really like the app. That's really what makes the Apple card special. Now, the funny thing is Apple says, don't put this next to, or put this in a leather wallet because it could discolor it if it's touching leather. And also don't put it next to other credit cards. They've also offered cleaning instructions on the website. I'll link that in the description, but 
I can't imagine wanting to regularly clean my Apple card and then also use, take care when it's in a wall. I'm just going to use it like any other card and hopefully it holds up well. Normally I'll use the phone to tap and pay anyway, but let me know your thoughts in the comments below. If you've got one, what do you think of it? If there's any other questions you have, I'd love to hear what you have to say as well. If you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe and hit that notification bell. If you'd like to see more of these videos as soon as they're released, of course, I'll link this wallpaper in the description as I always do. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a like as always. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.